welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with our Monday DIY. So happy Monday to everyone. And we are just going to get started. So what I'm trying to make today is like your old fashioned, maybe not even old fashioned, but like oil lamps. Um, so what you're going to need to start is I just picked up this white plate here. It's just like a little dessert plate from the Dollar Tree. And I also got this jar here. So it has the handle on it. You want to have the one with the handle on it. So just a nice clear jar and like a dessert plate. We're going to be painting both of them. Today I'm using the folk art chalk paint in black. Rich black. So I'm going to be using this. And we're just going to paint... The only things we're going to be painting is the plate and the mason jar. So I'm just going to just now make sure all the junk's off. We're just going to paint the plate. It does kind of look like it's going to need more than one coat, but just let it dry, go over it again. So we're just going to paint these. Let that sit. And guys, this is such a simple, I mean, as long as it goes as planned, um, <laughs> this is such a simple DIY. At least that is what I'm hoping for. It looked very simple. And you know, I love very simple crafts. This is I'm just kind of starting to make them. So with even with your mason jar here, we're just going to go right over top of it with our paint. We're going to paint all the way to the top. This actually seemed to cover pretty well on the glass. Go all the way around the top, all the way around the whole jar. Then we're just going to let that dry. I know some people use like a heat gun. I personally use my hair dryer. Um, I just like to stick my hand in there so we can get the rest of it here. And then right over the handle. So we are just going... I'm just going to dry these and I'm going to put a second coat over it. Um, also, what I bought this time was this acrylic sealer in the matte finish. I got this at Walmart. Um, I want to say it was $6. So that way you could just, with the matte paint, you can just go right over top of it with this, which is also a matte sealer, a matte finish. And it's just going to seal your paint so you don't have to worry about it scraping off of your stuff. So I'm just going to dry these, put our second coat on, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have everything painted and everything sprayed. Now with this stuff here, I sprayed it. It dries pretty much instantly, like very, very quickly. It only takes like, honestly, a couple seconds. So everything is dry, and we are just going to... Take the bottom of our glass here, and I'm going to put some E6000 right around this little lip here that is on the bottom, this little riser here. So I'm going to put E6000. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue just so it stays while we're doing this. So I'm just going to take our E6000 here and cut it in sections just so I have room to put our hot glue as well. And so in between where I stuck the 6000, we're just going to throw some hot glue on there. And we're going to turn it upside down and just stick it right in the middle of our plate. Get some of these <laughs> webs out of here. So we're just going to stick that right in the middle. So then we have this here. Okay. And then you're going to have one of these, um, one of these K 
candle holders here. Um, I heard a lot of people call them hurricane vases. So this is what I picked up. So we're just going to take this here and we're going to go on the inside of the top of our jar. And we're just going to put some E6000 in here, a little bit of hot glue, and then we're just going to stick this right inside. Okay. So we're just going to get our glue here ready. And we're just going to stick this in here. Again, in sections, because I'm going to use hot glue as well. Take our glue gun here and just add hot glue in between the sections we put our E6000. And then we're just going to take this here, push that on in. Just like that. So then this is what, I'm going to lift you up here. So then this is what you have right here. See, already so simple and so gorgeous. And we're just going to dress this up with some of like, your favorite ribbon. The ribbon I'm going to use today is this one here that has your black and red checker with these really cute snowflakes on it. So this is the ribbon that I'm going to use. And we're just going to measure around it here. I'm just going to go right on the top here of the jar. So we're just going to measure a piece to fit alongside of here. Okay. And I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to stick it on there. And we're just going to place it on here. And we're just going to pull this around nice and tight. Just like that. I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue right here. Fold that over so it holds and I'm just going to cut off the extra there we go so now you have your pretty ribbon all the way around the top here the next thing that I'm going to do is cut um, three inch, I already have one right here. So just three inch pieces and I'm going to cut eight of them. Okay. All right. So I have eight of them cut. So I'm just going to separate them four and four here. And on these, I'm just going to take the bottom and we're just going to cut diagonally here. Just so it has this edge on it here. So we'll just take four of these and just cut diagonally here to make the bottom edge, just like that. So now you have your four pieces. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to find the center here and we're going to go. So here's your center. Right, so we're just going to go off to the side a little bit. So we're just going to glue these four pieces on here just to add a little bit of hot glue on the top of the ribbon. And let's just stick it on here. We're just going to go a little sideways with it like that. And we're just going to add all four of them layering on top of each other. So 
So we want to leave a little bit of space here in the center. So when you have all four on, that's what that will look like. I'm trying to get this glue webs off my hand. There we go. Okay, so then your other four we're going to take, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to cut diagonally the opposite way. So again, you have an edge and it looks like that. So we're going to cut all four of them. And we're just going to go the opposite way than the first four. And then once you have those done, you're going to do the exact same thing we did here, but on this side of it. So we're just going to turn it a little bit. And we're going to now glue on these four pieces going the opposite way. Just a little bit of hot glue on the top. And then just stick them right on there. And that is what that will look like once you have all eight pieces on. So then the very next thing that I'm telling you guys, this is how easy this one is, is we are almost done already. So I also, I showed you guys these that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, these ornaments here. So what we're going to do with these is as soon as I get it off the back here, well, of course it's going to give me trouble this morning. Okay. So I'm just going to pick this one here that says Joy. We're going to pull that out of there. Now this here, so the center is separated. I mean, it's connected by the same ribbon. You see how it hangs in there? So what we're going to actually do is just cut this ribbon. And we're going to pull this out of here. Like that. Because all I want is the part right here that says joy. So we're just gonna retie this back together here. Okay. I'm just gonna put a little knot in it like that. And then you just have this hanging piece. And what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of hot glue right here in the center. And we're just going to stick that on there so that hangs very pretty in the middle, okay? So just a little bit of hot glue right in the center. And we're going to take this and we're just going to stick that right in the center here. And I don't have my little finger protector, so we're just going to push that in there with our scissors. So there, it hangs just like that. We're just going to cut the top, the extra little pieces here that are sticking up. We're just going to cut those right off, so you won't even see them. Just like that. And so we have that. And then I also took this pick that I had from the Dollar Tree, which we're gonna take some berries off of. And it also had this piece right here and I just cut a section of it off. So that's what that is. So I just cut that off of this pick here. And we're just gonna take our hot glue and we're gonna stick it right there in the center. 
we're just gonna go right down this piece here in the middle and we're just gonna stick it right in the center of all of this just like that all right and then the last thing that we're going to do is add our berries that I cut off of this one and we're just going to add some this might be a little too long here so we're just going to cut a little bit of this off and we're just going to add our berries like this so just a little bit of hot glue here and we're just going to add them on Kind of hold it for a second and then we're going to take this piece here and pop off some of those so it lays a little flatter and we're just going to add them right to the other side so just some hot glue on your stem here and just let that dry So there you have your bottom and honestly the last thing we're going to do is take our little tea light candle that I also got from the Dollar Tree we're gonna turn that on and we're just gonna throw that right inside and that is as easy as that is absolutely gorgeous I'm going to just clean this up a little bit I'm going to put it next to the other one that I made and I'm going to show you what they look like. Okay, guys, so there they are. Um, I did try to make it as dark in here as I possibly could so you can get a good um, look at them when they're lit up. This is pretty good to see. Um, again, super, super easy. Uh, you know, the way that I like to do crafts, super easy, but so stinking cute. Look at these. I absolutely love, love, love these. So there they are. So just another cute, wonderful addition to my Christmas decor. <sighs> I just think they came out stunning and it did not, you guys saw, it did not take long at all. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time. Bye now.